Hello everyone. I think we are live. So I'm going to check that up on my device. I'm a few minutes early, three minutes. I was watching all the chat there and I'm like, uh, I cannot type fast enough to chat. So I'm like, well, three minutes I can go on live. So I just want to make sure that everything is working properly here. I am, I am, Sam, I am. Awesome. Okay, if you can tell me, if you can hear me correctly, that would be awesome. Now, last, whatever, just this, not yesterday, the day before, Thursday, when I did Create on the Fly, many reported that, um, I'm looking to wash my glasses here, many reported that um, we're not getting notification, but you're a subscriber. My best advice is click on that little bell there, there notification, and then you want to click um, that notification all, one minute, let me tell you, let me, um, let me go on a channel here and I'm going to tell you, or maybe Ali, you know what they have to click to get notification, let me, cannot go to my own channel. So let me go here, because you know I see differently. Um, okay, I'm going to get it. So, because sometimes when it's an update, especially in an app or whatever, it can unset your setting. So you really want, okay. Right there by the subscribe, you get that little bell, okay? Click on the little bell, and then you want to click all under my channel. So you want all notification. It's just going to send the live, but you want to make sure when you click that little bell to subscribe, if it's a, you're already a subscriber, then click the little bell and click all. And that should do the trick. Uh, that I have no control on that. Absolutely no control. Thanks for sharing. So today it is mystery stamping. And my goal is to do one mystery stamping a month. So I'm going to rotate between weekends, nights, and so on. And it won't be always like a Monday night or a Tuesday night. I want to rotate because I understand some work on the weekend, some work at night, some get the grandkids at night, some get Bible study on certain night, and so on. So it doesn't matter which day that I pick, I'm always going to leave a very great follower, a great friend behind because, you know, they cannot watch live and they love to watch live because that's where the interaction is. So for my mystery stamping, I will scatter that all over, okay? Because I want you to stamp with me. That is my goal for the mystery stamping. It's for you to stamp. And many ask, please, Frenchie, tell us the stamp set you are using. And the answer is no to that. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the mystery stamping, I want you to be able to join and use whatever you get in your room. I don't want you to feel that you have to buy this or buy that to make the card we are making. That's why it's a mystery. So really, I give the measurement of the paper. It doesn't matter the color that I'm using either. You can use any color. So if it's designer series paper, I'm going to use say you know use your color base to go with your paper and so on or sometimes it won't be using designer series paper it can be just plain paper and i'm going to say the stamp set should fit in a two inch square or it should fit in a one by two because the way the paper is going to be cut and so on so that is the reason why you're going to see the stamp set i'm using when we are creating that morning afternoon whenever it is but that is the main reason because a lot of people want to use all the same and this is built that to show you you can create 
at the same time than me or using your stuff. I want you to use what you already have on AMP. Okay, so Ollie, if you can tell me if you can hear me correctly, I would appreciate that. I think you guys are. My comments are not coming as fast. Okay, I see now. Perfect. Okay. So, and now, okay, mystery stamping. That is fun. Now we will have not only mystery stamping, but I got two giveaway. See how loaded that is? Okay, get ribbon, get embellishment, get blinks, get um, glitter. Imagine glitter. Uh, get doilies. It's a bunch of embellishment and so on. More than $40 in each uh, thing. So we're going to have two winners to win during my life. The trick, the thing is you have to be present. And how do we pick a winner? Well, Ollie got the thing that she do all that. She's amazing at the other end. She going to announce the winner. So we're going to have two winners during the live. You have to be present to win. So how are you getting entered? You have to leave a comment. Just your name is just enter one. Doesn't matter if you, uh, enter 59 comments 500 comments your name it's enter once the thing though and again this is beyond my control when i am live the only way you can leave a comment it's to have you, to be logged in with your google many of you don't even know but most of you when you log into whatever you pop uh, youtube it's already with your google account so if you don't have a Google account, that I am sorry, it's beyond my control. And that's the only way, you know, uh, to leave a comment. When I'm not live, so at any time you can leave a comment, but not live, okay? So, perfect. So now we're going to flip the thing. I got a few uh, announcements though. So retire uh, product in the annual catalog, it's, the stamp set are selling so quick this year so 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 quick and many of you ask me if i get this i get that if i get this if i get that and um i i want to give my customer first bid put it that way so i will not answer that i what i'm going to do though anybody that place an order so years on me anybody that place an order all month of april so if you already place a number you're already on the list if you didn't place an order and you would like to get access to my retire sale uh, event, first bid, I say, first sneak peek or first peek at it or first. So you still have, what, a week to place an order. So what I'm going to do, I'm not giving the date yet. It's going to be at the beginning of May, though. It's going to be in that first uh First two weeks, I don't know, I'm going to try hard to have it done by the first week. Because first, I cannot sell any of the retired products. So that's one reason I don't say nothing, you know. Because if you ask me if I get this, that, I cannot sell it. Even if it's sold out per stamping a policy, again, above my control, per stamping a policy, I am not allowed to sell any of the product that it's published in the catalog. I have to wait till the official date it's say retire and that's going to be May 3rd. That's when the new catalog start and the old catalog gets done. So it's going to be after May 3rd. So I'm hoping that first week, that first part of May after May 3rd, I'm going to send an email to all, all, all that uh, took uh, place an order in April and you will have access before I put it publicly to everybody else. And not only it's going to be my site, but Holly, the one that answered your question here, she's going to have her site to open for her customer and my customer. Well, she's going to open to her personal customer and then open for all of us. So I will have the link there. So in short, if you shop, with me in April, you're going to have access to both page first. Okay. Um, May 
4, not May 3rd. The catalog start May 3rd, but the first Tuesday of the month, I always have my team meeting, my monthly team meeting. I don't want to change it. I preach to them, except if I would be killed or gone on a la la trip, because I even plan my trips around that. So it's our team meeting, our monthly team meeting. So I'm going to keep that in stone. And then May 4th, that's the Wednesday, the day after the catalog go live, I will have the walkthrough of the catalog. So you can mark your calendar May 4th at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. That it's 5 Pacific, 6 Mountain, 7 Central, and 8 Eastern Time that it's in the U.S. I will have the walkthrough. Let me tell you, I'm going to have a lot of projects to share. I didn't think I would have that much because, you know, the pre-order, it's more limited for the annual catalog. But only Magali, I get a bucket full. Not only that I get a bucket full, I got a desk full because I've been working last night. When I say a desk full, this is the desk here. All done. I'm working on the new color combination. So I'm going to have so much to share with you all. So I hope that, and I always get uh, people say that I share many tips or two. I, it can be dangerous for your wallet, okay? Because I'm going to pinpoint stuff that you didn't even pay attention and you're going to say, oh my goodness, I need that. So that can be a dangerous part. But overall, I share many tips and um, guide you through the thing. And I... I'm going to share stuff that I love, stuff that I'm like, mm, I don't know, and so on. So mark the day. Okay, now we're ready, right? Ten minutes of jabbing, that's way too much. Okay, but you know what? When, in live, when I am live, this is a social time, I say. So thank you all for joining. And by the way, all the one from uh, North Dakota there, uh, good luck. I saw that my brother-in-law is in Dickinson, so they got dumped last, last week. I think they still try to uncover from that. And then this weekend again, they say it's just been crazy. Um, North Dakota, that's where my husband is from, and we were, he was went to graduate high school from Devil's Lake. They moved between Minot, Lake Knight, if you guys know where Lake Knight is, if you blank, you miss it. It's right there by the Canadian border, uh, northwest, and, well, yeah, northwest about. And then um, they moved to Devil's Lake and then Dickinson, but they graduated from Le uh, Devil's Lake. And then we were stationed in Minot, uh, North Dakota. That's where my daughter was born. So quite a bit of history over there so good luck to you all if you get dumped and i saw you had thunderstorm and that and i saw emmy sent a message that was happening i think yesterday the day before too so okay let me flip you down ollie if i forget something please remind me please remind me okay because of my speed during a mystery stamping i am doing two cards and the re reason why I'm doing two cards, it's because that I try to put my gear to more slow, but it don't happen, okay? It just don't happen. Um, let me put that volume down just a tad. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it feels that my gear is full blast all the time. And that is just me. I, You know, some people are the gear, if it's almost par, that's okay. It's nothing wrong with that. I say you're going to live longer. And other people, it's full blast. Well, mine, it's the pedal to the floor. So, and you guys can ask Ollie. I get the pedal on the floor to when traveling and it's costly. So, let's leave it to that, right? Okay, so when I do mystery stamping, I promote it a couple weeks in advance and I give you the measurements. So, if you miss the measurement, you won't have time to cut your paper. And if you cannot write everything, don't worry, because the uh, measurement, it's right there on my blog at frenchystamps.com. 
it's right above there. I'm going to remove that because that Ostis coat is just good for April. But you know what? I'm going to leave there. It's April. So if you're watching after April 2022, the, that Ostis coat is, will not be active anymore. But you can um, check at FrenchyStamps.com and it's going to be another Ost coat. Every month I get a different Ost code and with an order of $40 most time, you better check because it could change. You're going to get a download or it can be something else. So you want to check this month. It's the new Horizon. I absolutely love this paper. So I personally designed 12 card. This We change the team. We take turn uh, between, a, I call it my design team doing a project for our customers so we share the same download this is my favorite one of all love it here is so it was using the paper but using different product to width so you can see you can have it uh, diff, you know with different thing here it is and some of it are different fold okay see like this with the tulip, the fans. So some of it are very simple and some of them are more detailed. So it's a little bit for everything, but this paper do the work. You don't have to do much. And here is a fun fold that it's the front and the back. It's as pretty as both sides. So that is this one, okay? So you just, if you wish to have the, the, the download for this, you just got a bit of time okay so the cardstock that had to match like with the designer series paper i said so the cardstock you're going to need a piece that measure five and a quarter by eight and after i was done really it could have been five and a half but we're going to keep it at five and a quarter by eight and then you need a piece three and a quarter by eight and a half Okay, so this piece, it's tricky. It is eight, not eight and a half, okay? Five and a quarter by eight. And three and a quarter by eight and a half. See, it's a difference there. My dog is snoring. That's all good. Now you're going to need two strips of designer series paper that measure five and a quarter by three and a quarter. By the way, this card, I learned it from Glenda, the stamp can. Um, this, you're going to need two piece of one and a quarter by two, seven, eight. And you got three by four. This piece here. The three by four, if you don't use designer series paper, you could do like a white piece and you could stamp on it, okay? So remember that this could be like white or vanilla and stamp something on it. The three by four is going to be your focal point. So it can be something stamp on. Watch now and play later. It's not cheating. It's still good because some people, you know, it's tough to follow and because you cannot stop a live video and, you know, do stuff and then keep on going. If you watch the replay, the beauty of it is you can stop, work on your stuff and keep on going. And then you're going to need white or vanilla. This is for the inside. So it's five and a quarter by two and three quarter. So, okay, so those two pieces here could be white, could be stamp on, okay? Today, we don't really have no stamping. I was concentrating on the paper. With that being said, you, I, any shape can be good. That's for your greeting, okay? What the heck happened here? Here we go. That was bothering me. Uh, so this is going to be for my greeting. So it can be any shape, it can be a circle, you can cut just strip and so on, okay? Okay, so let's get going with, we're going to score our paper. So let's bring our P 
paper that measure five and a quarter by eight. Let's bring that to our simply score or whatever you use to uh, score. Now, do you wondering why I got a piece of wax paper? Did you ever happen to score and it want to slide or go off? Well, this make a huge difference. If you take wax paper and you rub that on your paper that you're going to um, score, make a big difference. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to score. Where's my paper for score? You're going to score at one inch so score at one inch score at two inch and score at five inch never mind this here i'm gonna put that there at five inch okay so again it's one two and five I'm just giving you time to breathe here a bit. Okay. Now the other piece that the three and a quarter by eight and a half, put it on the long way, and that we're going to score at four and one quarter. So four and one quarter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give you time to do that. Let me put this away. Okay. Now, what at any time you got um, a fun fold or any type that you get different fold, we want to reinforce our score line. And that make a huge difference if we reinforce our score line to keep it strong. So, with that being said, so see, I'm doing what this is Mary Merlot, and this is um, Evening Evergreen. That, yeah, Evening Evergreen. We got a winner, Ollie just announced that we get a winner. The first winner is Shirley. Let me put the name here. You know what? That don't work. Don't work so much a pen there. One minute. Let me... Uh... Okay. So Shirley, you're going to have to go at frenchystamps.com and right above you get contact me. When we're done, I need your address right after this. That's how I know you are live. So the first winner of the giveaway, it is Shirley. One minute, let me pull that. Shirley Malarkey. Here we go. So, congratulations, Shirley, and then we will have another winner down the road, so you don't want to escape, okay? So, make sure that you send me your mailing address, Shirley, on my blog. So, now what I was saying, so you know I am doing two, so you just need one of that. The reason I'm doing two is to try to slow down my process, okay? Because... I've been known to go too fast. I'm trying to slow down. Okay, so you're going to fold down. Fold down. Now, at the bottom, the one and two inch there, two go up, one go down. Two go up, one go down. And this one, oh, see? This one was not, I had eight and a half. So if you did a mistake that you did eight and a half, you just need eight inch. That's one that many people were, was tricky when we did that with the team. So here we go, eight inch. Love it that I did the mistake. So then you guys can learn from my mistake, right? 
So now reinforce this, okay? You want to reinforce those score lines. That's what may make it or break it, put it that way. Okay, now you're going to take this piece here and we're going to reinforce where it's in, you know, the, the valley, the mountain is going to stay in, the valley it's out, full bit, so then that don't crackle. Okay, you're going to do this one. And then, this one was already scored for me, I mean folded. Here we go. Now, you're going to take your strips of one and a quarter by two seven eight. One and a quarter by two seven eight. Okay. You're going to take those little strip and we're going to put that on each side here. One over here. Uh, this paper here is, um, let me think, let me think. Earth something. One minute. Let me. Uh, oh, it's retiring. It was still available to when I checked. Mm. Ollie, will you check that for me if it's still in? It was a few days ago. Let me tell you uh, which one it is. It is the beautiful beauty of the earth. Okay? That's this paper I'm using. And then for the other card, I am using the tulip paper that is flowering feel. This is the one I'm using with the green, the evergreen. Okay, so one from the animal catalog, one from the JJ, whatever, the mini catalog. So now we're going to put here. Okay, so you want to put both of your piece there. Some of you are speedy. You just hold on a little bit because, you know, we get people of every uh, speed here. We got the fast goer. We got uh, the one that are um, take their time and so on. So we, I just want to try to, um, oops try to cover all of them, you know. I don't want to make you stressed out if you're stamping with me. Put it that way. So here we go. So I put that on each side, okay. Now we get that on each side. Now you're going to take your one of the strip of uh, the five and a quarter by three quarter. You're going to put it there. So you decide which side you want it. So, one, I'm going to switch that around. You can use all the same print or you can switch it. It don't matter. Absolutely not. It don't matter. That's going to go there. Going to come here. Voila. Now, the other long strip, the other long strip, one and a quarter by 278, you're going to put it on your white or vanilla piece, okay? That the white was uh, five and a quarter by two and three quarter. You're going to put it there. So let's put that on. It's sad, but we're almost done, my friends. I keep a little white line at the bottom. Yes, Catherine, you should know where you're going. Like I said at the beginning, this comes from Glenda from the team retreat. Yes. So you cannot say a Budo. Yes, this is, I thought when Glenda shared that, I thought this is going to be perfect 
for uh, mystery uh, stamping. The same than the card that Ollie did for mystery. I will do that one next, I think. Okay, so now you see this. Now we're going to go, you know what, it's very, here we go, better. Now we're going to take these and we're going to glue that inside. So let's put glue in the back of this. And we're going to put that inside. Yeah, this uh, part could have been five and a half by eight. So it would be just wider. Well, all the change would do. That's okay. I got another card coming up. Another video similar to this, but it's going to be a something similar. Not quite. So now, voila. Okay. Now, what's next? Next going to take the long piece and like I said this one here if you didn't have a, a designer series paper that you think would go good here you can always stamp on this part okay remember that you can always stamp on this part so now we're going to glue that there This a blue. It is a very fun, uh, fun fold. Yes, yes, yes. And this. Now, your little. Uh, we're gonna do a grading. So the grading that I use, that I am beyond sad. It was you have been on my mind. That amazing, amazing uh, greeting is sold out. I bet you can tell which stamp set it was. I didn't think they would sell out now. But it was sold out the second day after they announced the retirement. It is from um, after the storm. Okay. So with that being said, this morning I went and dig a little bit and see what I could add. I decide to add this stamp set here. Lovely you. That one, it's one coming in the catalog and I'm using the just because. This just because, you know, that was one in uh, after the storm too. I love it just because card because so many of us, we think we have to wait for a birthday or we have to wait for a special occasion. We make cards. We love making cards. Don't you wait for something to happen to send a card. It's nothing better than going at the mailbox and have a card just because. Not only it's just because, but that really is the best feeling, statement, whatever you want to call it. Because that person that sent you a card, oh, dang on it. I put my hand right in the hang pad because I'm talking and work at the same time, you know? Um, when I was saying that person that did the card just because that means she was thinking of you just because, not because the uh, her calendar say it was your birthday or anniversary or because it say it's Valentine's or Christmas and so on. So it's really, uh, oh my goodness, she was really thinking of me. So remember that. Send those cards just because you won't say, I was thinking of you, off your day as well. Doesn't matter if it's a, um, somebody in the same town than you. Send those cards, say, you're a very special person. I was thinking about you and so on. Our cards, they're more than just paper. They really make a big statement, okay? A very, very big statement. So use them, make the power of them big. Okay, voila. Now, I'm gonna use, um, I'm using linen thread for both of them because I figured that's gonna match both of them. Or oh, I need my glue dots. So, I'm going to just fold this in two and I'm going to do a bow. Oops. 
So yes, please send those cards. Why are you saving all those cards? Because you're so afraid to, oh, in case I want to copy that. I need my pattern, right? Oh my goodness, no, I cannot send that. I work too hard on that. Why are you making them if you don't send them? Please, I beg you, send that love in the mail. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a little... I'm going to crunch my, well, let's crunch it in the back of this here. Because this is smaller than my glue dot, so I just crunch my glue dot. And I'm going to put it sideways here. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. It's the same thing. Many of you buy designer series paper and you don't use them. Why? You're like, oh, it is so pretty. I cannot cut in it. And then the new catalog's coming out. Oh my gosh, I need that designer series paper. See how pretty it is? So now you're buying more designer series paper. You end up, you get a closet full of beautiful print. What are you going to do with it? What the kids going to do when we pass? Do you think those our kids going to be like, oh my gosh, look at that beautiful paper. We're going to keep the collection of that. Mm, I don't think so, friends. So use that paper. Don't be afraid to use that paper. Here we go. Now, here's the trick. This is going to go in the center, okay? So this is going to come here. See how that goes? You know. Boom, it's a faux step card, center step. So what we want to do is just glue at the bottom of this, just at the bottom here. And I like to do one piece first, and I, I put that straight here, and I'm going to align this here, like so. Turn it around, and then I can follow the side of this. I can go there and there. And then I can go there. And you know what? I'm going to go right here. Then fold this down. Yep. It is shocking when we do an inventory and see our paper. If it happens, you get a little bit longer. Don't, don't worry about that. Just take your scissor. It all depends. The front, sometimes you didn't win as deep or whatever. That's okay. Just go here. And I just shape that. Just like, you know, when your veins start bugging you, you go with the scissors and you give a little poof. Here we go. Now, let's go with the next one. And I got more to share with you of these cards because you know I had to do some pattern, right? Okay, now we are going to glue the next one. So that could be for any occasion card. You can use it for Christmas design. You can use it for uh, name it, right? I like to do this straight up. Okay, before I continue though, you see this part? I just used those strips. I could have put a long piece there, but we save a bit right so you don't have to cover the whole thing so this way see it looked like we get the full sheet now we're going to go in the back again here we go I'm glad you guys like it. I'm very glad, glad you guys like it. Like I said, this is something I want every month I was saying, I want to do more mystery stamping. Well, I am determined that a lot of my life for, I'm going to try that. Um, I'm going to do class to like the, my big class, but uh, that's going to be more random. I want to do more mystery stamping because I want you to use whatever you get in your thing. Maybe you're going to decide, oh, I want what she's using. That's 
awesome. I'm here to sell the product, right? What envelope would you mail that in? Regular envelope, my friend. You don't need no special envelope. That is exactly a regular envelope. Voila. Just a regular envelope. Nothing special. So really this, and I don't think it would be um, extra for mailing. It's maybe thick a little bit there, but no. So it's just regular card. Uh, our regular envelopes. Okay, do you want to see the other two that I did? So see, you open it up and boom. Very fun. So it's called a full step card, okay? Center step. And then I did it in this paper here. It is called mm, uh, mm, Symbol of Fortune. That's in the mini catalog so it's the one right here symbol of fortune and here is another one that i didn't use any shape to do my greeting see i stamped directly on it so even if you didn't have an oval or so on and you could have put one that go on the side of this here too also as long as you don't pass that And see, this is more masculine in the brown, right? And it's the same inside. So how about that? See all those fun step cards. I could have went shorter here because I saw some step card. You go shorter, so you save a bit of that paper. But what I like about it's eight and a half. It's exactly, you know, a strip of the, the card stock there at three and a quarter. What I like about that, it's easy to line up perfectly that it's strong, sturdy. So, I hope you enjoy these mystery stamping. Like I said, very, very simple stuff that you can use your designer serial paper. Talking about designer serial paper, I am doing my... Um, Designer Serial Paper, uh, what's it's called, uh, Share, that's going on right now. I'm going to send the invoice Monday. I get a bunch of, this is all the new paper. You can go at frenchystamps.com and right above where it says Shop 24, you're going to see a paper share. So RSVP now. The beauty about uh, the Designer Serial Paper Share, it gives you some of all the designer series paper also i do the it's part it's include the um, specialty paper so this way it gives you a little bit of everything look at this remind you of something yeah the front of the catalog i case um and see that's gonna come that's the side step one and it's five and a half the length of those ones. So a little bit different that's coming up. That's a side step instead of a center step. So I got a lot of the, des the designer series paper that I did cards. Like I said, if you take part of this, uh, not the swap, but the, <clears throat> the share, that give you quite, that's the specialty paper, see? That pearlized specialty paper. That give you a lot that you can see a bit because seeing in real and in the catalog, it's two different things. So this way you can see it in real life. And you know, after you're done the, cause it's all come in the six by six when I do the share. When you're done, let's say with, a pack of the six by six then you're like okay i really want that one sometimes you think oh i really like this one and when you work with it you like something much better because not many people can afford all every pack of designer series paper this way it gives you the chance to experience with them so we're gonna have another winner here in uh let me check if ollie got it we do, we do, we do have another winner. The next winner, it is Rebecca. 
And if you're not in the U.S., this needs to be shipped in the U.S., uh, please pick up right away so then we can pick another winner. If you're not from the U.S., I'm going to send you a card, but I cannot mail product outside the U.S. I should have said that at the beginning. So speak up. So Rebecca, um, you're going to have to go at frenchystamps.com and right above in my uh, thing, you're going to see contact me. That's where you want to go and send me your address. See, this is all full of goodies. Both uh, things are full of goodies. So I hope all of you had a lovely Saturday morning. This was quick. See, 45 minutes and I know... I chit chat a lot, but that's what it is. Thank you, Catherine. You are so welcome, Erlen, and everyone. Thank you, thank you for joining me. And let's give a big a kiss and hug to Ollie for replying to all of you. I couldn't do this without Ollie because I I cannot read fast enough, and then I go and stand on it, and then yeah, it's get a mess. So. Holly, thank you, thank you so, so much. And all of you that join in, thank you. If you watch the replay, remember you can fast forwards, backwards, and so on. So um, then you can go more at your own speed. Um, I will have a blog coming up uh, shortly, sometime in May here, to share all those cards that I did. But some of the paper will be retired by then. So remember, um, well, really, it's beauty of the earth that's going to be retired. The other two should still be there. Well, it's while well supplies last, too. So thank you. Have a lovely weekend, my friend. Now I'm off for my walk. It looked kind of weird. It's just that the way that it hit the sun. It's windy again today. I don't know why. I think they prepared me to go back to Wyoming this summer, right? So it's been very... Uh, windy spring here i shouldn't complain because i know the one in uh wyoming you guys get the wind but for here this is a windy so have a lovely weekend my friends see you next thursday for create on the fly live at uh, 6 p.m mountain time right here on youtube and then save the date may 4th it's the walkthrough of the new catalog bye-bye for now